According to a study by one of the top genealogical publishers of the world that has provided authoritative genealogical records of historical families for more than 190 years, Queen Elizabeth is a descendant of Islam's Prophet Muhammad, specifically his 43rd great-granddaughter. A release by United Press International dated October 10, 1986 says, Moslems in Buckingham Palace. Mixed in with Queen Elizabeth's blue blood is the blood of the Muslim Prophet Muhammad, according to Burke's Peerage, the genealogical guide to royalty. The relation came out when Harold B. Brooks Baker, publishing director of Burke's, wrote Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher to ask for better security for the royal family. Quote, the royal family's direct descendant from the Prophet Muhammad cannot be relied upon to protect the royal family forever from Muslim terrorists, he said. Probably realizing the connection would be a surprise to many, he added, quote, It is little known by the British people that the blood of Muhammad flows in the veins of the queen. However, all Muslim religious leaders are proud of this fact, end quote. Brooks Baker said the British royal family is descended from Muhammad through the Arab kings of Seville, who once ruled Spain. By marriage, their blood passed through to the European kings of Portugal and Castile, and through them to England's 15th century King Edward IV. It's something you might not expect to be written on a 9th century Viking ring, for Allah. The ring was discovered back in the late 1800s during excavations of a Viking trading center in Burka, Sweden. And they were able to clearly see that the ancient Arabic writing reads for Allah or to Allah. The researchers say that most likely we'll never know the exact meaning behind the inscription or where and why it was done, but that the ring definitely offers a link between the two civilizations long ago. This image is said to be of actual hair from the beard of the Prophet Muhammad. The red hair, said to have been shaved from Muhammad's face by his barber Salman in the presence of Abu Bakr, Ali, and several other witnesses. Individual hairs were later taken away, but the beard itself is kept protected and on display in a glass container. Starting after the age of 40, the Prophet Muhammad began to dye his graying beard red to gain a more youthful appearance as the Prophet Muhammad himself was reported to have naturally red hair when he was young. This helps to explain why millions of Muslims today, some being of sub-Saharan African origin with black hair, also dye their beards with red henna. The same way that DNA evidence has demonstrated that about 99% of modern day Egyptians are not genetically related to the blonde and red-headed pharaohs the vast majority of Muslims today have no ethnic relation to the Prophet Muhammad, yet still dye themselves with red henna out of respect, tradition, uh, imitation, and uh, religious reasons. My name is Robert Sepper. I'm an independent anthropologist. Be well. Until next time.